I do not like being smacked at random times and I do not like having my pain threshold insulted. I would not tolerate having this man thinking that one stupid hand smack had hurt me more than I could bear. No, I contradicted, attempting calm. It's not that it was too hard. My point is that you can't spank me when we're not filming. I see, I am a hard spanker. I wasn't pleased. No, I said, less calmly, and was about to explain it again when the temporary flatmate suddenly came unexpectedly to my rescue. She doesn't want to be spanked when you're not filming, she chimed in. I loved her. Well, it's not sexual, he replied, a little petulantly. If he was telling the truth, what an odd thing to be doing with your afternoon at considerable personal expense. If it wasn't sexual, why on earth was he making a spanking movie at all? The shoot limped onwards. We were spanked for not dusting our room properly. On a break from shooting while the camera was being moved, William suddenly ran the prop feather duster up between my legs. You can't do that, I said, feeling repetitive and prudish and guilty. I try not to say no to too many things at any one shoot. It feels disobliging. Oh, it's not sexual, he insisted again. I'd not actually said that it was, though obviously it was, given that he deliberately used a foreign object to make contact with my genitalia, and his response showed the lie for what it was. If someone refuses a biscuit you offer them, you don't feel the need to assure them that the biscuit isn't sexual. Biscuits aren't sexual. Pussies are.